in the year 1362, during the years of the trees in Eldamar, an elf was born who probably everyone who read the Silmarillion, the Lord of the Rings, or even the unfinished tales, knows. Artanis, or better known as Galadriel, the Lady of Light. But what not so many people know is that in the same year in Tyrion another elf was born, one of Galadriel's cousins. Irisa was she called, or Irath in Sindarin, but most know her under another name. Arathel Arfeniel, the White Lady of the Noldor. And today I am going to tell you her story. Let's begin. Aravel means noble elf and it fits very well for that she was the third child and only daughter of Fingolfin and his wife Anaira. So she was the sister of Fingon, Turgon and Argon on one hand. On the other hand, Aradel was a grandchild of Finve, the high king of the Noldor at that time. She is described as tall and strong with dark hair, always dressed in white or silver, which probably brought her the title the White Lady of the Noldor. As said, Aradel was born in the Undying Lands, and there she lived until the fateful day where Fëanor and his sons swore their terrible oath to go to Middle-earth and claim back the Silmarils, which was stolen by Morgoth. Aradel went with her father and her brothers, who followed Fëanor, while her mother stayed in Valinor. Even after the kinsling at Alcolonde, she did not return, as for example her uncle Finarfin did. Betrayed by Fëanor, who left behind his brother and burned the stolen ships at Losgar, Fingolfin and his host had to search for another way to Middle-earth. So they decided to cross the Helcaraxe, an icy waste, which connected Araman, the north of Amman, with Middle-earth. There they lost many companions as Elenve, Turgon's wife and Aradal's sister-in-law, for example. The rest of the house of Fingolfin, however, survived and finally arrived after more or less 20 years surrounded by snow, cold and ice in Beleriand. There, Aradal stayed with her brother Turgon, first in Vinyamar, then in the hidden city of Gondolin. But after 200 years in the beautiful city, Aradel was getting bored. She wanted to go out for hunting and riding, which he was very fond of. So she went to her brother and told him that. Turgon, however, had only one answer for his sister. No. For that he feared Aradel would get hurt and for the secret of his city. But after some time, Aradal was able to convince him, so Turgon gave her a small escort for protection. But she was only allowed to visit their older brother Fingon, who lingered in Dor Lomina. Aradal, however, ignored that completely, for that she wanted to see the sons of Fëanor again, who she was befriended with. So she wanted to go to Himlot, where Curfin and Kelegrim lived. Now the shortest and safest way to Himlet was through the realm of Doria. And that was the problem for that Aradel and her companions were Noldor and Elur Thingol. The king of Doriath had no good relation with the Noldor at all for what happened in Alcolonde. So they had to take a longer way through the dangerous region of Nandungove. There, Aradel was separated from her escort during an attack by creatures of Ingoliant. But Aradel wouldn't be Aradel if she did not take on the journey on her own. So, she finally arrived in Himland, where she was welcomed friendly. Kurufin and Kelegorm, however, weren't at home, so Aradel stayed there waiting. But after some time, she got tired of waiting and started to take trips on her own. And during one of those trips, she reached Nan Elmoth, the forest where Thingol and Melian first met. Melian and Thingol now ruled the realm of Doria, but someone else lived there in Nan Elmoth, Eor, also called the Dark. And when he saw the elven lady, 
eel became obsessed by her beauty and wove a spell among Arvel, for that she got lost without hope in the dark forest and wandered closely to eel's home where he welcomed her and took her as his wife. And there, in an elm of, Arvdal gave birth to a son, which secretly she called Lomio, but he's better known under his father's name, Maiglin. Arvdal had the freedom to go wherever she wanted to, and she and they all often wandered in the forest during the night, but she wasn't allowed to visit any of her kin, for that not only Thingol, but also Eol didn't like the Nolder, which will have quite a big impact on Ardal's story later on. And out of homesickness, she began to tell her son stories about the Nolder and Gondolin. When Maglin was older, he then proposed to abandon their home in Nanelmoth and return to Gondolin. So the two fled while Eol was on one of his journeys. But the Dark Elf returned earlier than thought, and after hearing what happened from his servants, he followed his wife and his son angrily. While Aravel and Maglin were welcomed with joy in Gondolin, Eol was captured by the guards at the entrance of the city. He was brought in front of King Turgon, who was willing to accept Eol as one of his kinsmen, and gave him a choice to make. He can stay in Gondolin with his wife and his son, but wouldn't be allowed to leave it ever again. Or he can die. And his choice wouldn't affect Eol only, no, but also his son, as it is written in the Silmarillion. But as I said before, the Dark Elf hated the Noldor and so chose death. He threw a spear at Maglin which he has hidden under his cloak. It was in that moment that Aradel shielded her son with her own body and a spear wounded her shoulder. While Eol was chained and will be brought in front of Turgon the following day for a judgment. Aradel's wound seemed small and while she was resting she begged her niece Idril to ensure that Turgon shows mercy to Eol. But that evening Aradel got sick because the spear was poisoned, although no one recognized it. And she passed away shortly after. Here ends the story of Aradal Arfaniel, the White Lady of the Noldor. What do you think? What would Aradal be doing if she is still alive in the Second and the Third Age? Would she live somewhere alone, full of grief about what has happened to her family? without someone even knowing about her, or would she help the others in their fight against Sauron? Let me know it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this character history. There is coming much more of this stuff on this channel. So this is my first video of this kind, so if there is anything I can make better, please let me know it. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully until next time. Bye.